Dual Review is brought to you by NexusDigitalComics.com. On today's Dual Review, it's Origins, Spirits of the Past. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Welcome to Thursday the 30th of August. We are doing Origins, Spirits of the Past. That's right. And it is an anime that you can get on Netflix. That's in part why we're doing it. Uh, but it is a solid anime. Uh, we both saw it a while ago. We recently rewatched it. Right. It's one of those ones where we forgot that we watched it and then we were like, oh, let's but watch yeah, this it one. And then take, as soon it didn't as take it, long. Yeah, as soon as it started up, we're like, oh, I remember this. I remember avoiding it just because of the cover. It just looked like it was like this weird, like, eco friendly, you know, yeah. thing. I just wasn't whatever. And it kind of is. Yeah, a little bit. It reminds me a little bit of Nasco the Wind, uh, where you've got kind of the, you know, nature kind of going a little rogue and then humans kind of forcing it there, you right. know, kind of thing. Anyway. Um, so, Origins, we start off with Agito, is a little boy, uh, and his friend, I guess it's his friend, I thought it was his brother, but it's definitely not yeah, his brother. Yeah, it's his friend, yeah. Uh, anyway, Kane, um, they are basically, I don't know, it's post-apocalyptic world, um, there are structures left from the past, and it's kind of, they're kind of beat up, and so they do salvage, and the two boys we start off there are getting water. Right. And the water is controlled by the forest. Uh, the forest is kind of an unhospitable place. It has a consciousness of some sort. Um, there are things called the Zruids. Druids, they're druids. It's not druids, it's with a Z. It's oh, is it? I thought, I thought it was just druids. Uh, no, huh. it sounds like that, but no, it's with a Z. Uh, anyway, they are kind of humanoid, but with like leaves on their face. I don't know if they right. are technically human or what. No, I think they're um, plant people. The thing is that uh, people. we find out that this... this city which is the neutral city right? right the city of neutral is what it's called or uh, neutral city they whatever. are kind of in between where the humans uh have now they're like in a military you know a militaristic right point of there's the a forest. there's like, a military there's state the forest. then there's neutral and then there's the forest yeah so the neutral is the city in between the two and they kind of have a truce with both sides and they have a truce with the forest to allow them to have water right but they're very you know uh I don't know, finicky about it because the boys go down there to get water. Apparently, they did something. Yeah, wrong. If, you're, if you're allowed to, t you're not allowed to take so much water. So, so essentially, here, let's let's start from the beginning where it starts. Um, the moon, something happens on the moon, and like this giant plant monster comes careening down. Looks like a dragon. It looks like a dragon, and it's pretty cool how it comes in, and that's when that song plays that you like, you know. And then it crash lands, and we move from there. It's it's in the it's in the future now, and. The plants have completely taken over. They're more of the dominant species on the planet, and we're just kind of, you know, humans are, are more like uh, living in their they're, shadow. But they're only dominant in that they control the water. Right. Uh, but they, they, I mean, they do have some scary power. You know, if you go right. off the water and wander in the forest alone, you could get strangled to death by vines or yeah. whatever. Yeah, right. Uh, and, and also, um, these this neutral city, they can go to the forest and ask for power, power. And if they're given power, if they use it too much, then they start becoming trees. Right. Uh, which is kind of a weird thing. It's never, I like it. I thought, it's not I it's never cool. terribly explained, but it, yeah, it's an well, it's, interesting it's element. Plant I guess. power. Uh, so Agito, Flower power. the main boy, his father has is is experiencing that. He's right. slowly turning into a tree because he uses his power too much. Anyway. Right. Uh, so most of the humans are the militaristic side. You know, they're they they basically want to take power back from the trees because they don't like the water being lorded over right. them. So. And they've already figured out a way to kind of self-sustain by a little bit, yeah. really, really leaching the water out of the desert that they live in. So, I, and, and what, I, are they on, is the entire city uh, uh, several moving uh, trains? Is that what's happening? Or is it just that that's the, just the transport? I don't think so. Yeah, okay, I wasn't sure about that. Okay. Because they had the, because I only saw them on the train and then suddenly there's these big power units that, that were making the water or, you know, yeah, water. I don't think the city has anything to do with the trains. Okay. Really. I, I don't know. I was, I was kind of unclear. Fell, fell asleep during that Maybe. minute transition Maybe. or something. Anyway, uh, so, uh, okay, so Agito, he is in trouble with his ruins for taking water or whatever. He decides that he's going to try to get away with it, so he swims into the water, into a cave, yada, yada, long story short. He finds this cavern with a red light on, and he goes towards the red light, and it ends up being a stasis kind of pod. Right. Uh, and in there is a little girl. Uh, her name is Tula, and she awakens. She's got this kind of interesting necklace that's a key and a cell phone and all these fun yeah, things. Yeah, I thought it was cool. Anyway, it's very futuristic, but she's from the past. 
So they find her. They wake her up. She's freaked out because the world that she knew is totally right. different. It's and it gone. Was, it's it, totally different. That now. was that was the modern world that was destroyed by the plants, and now everyone is living in this post. You know, and her father had something to do with it, and Nick doesn't want to spoil right. any more than that. But she is tied to what happened, so she feels a little bit guilty. She feels very lonely, yada yada. So her and uh, uh, what's his name? Agado. Yeah, the main boy form an instant bond kind of thing, um, and throughout the film. She kind of goes towards the militaristic side. She is convinced there is one other um, person, person from that's the past. come out of stasis, and he is definitely for the military. Right. But it, but it's it's more that they want to return their the the life that they're leading to the, natural, the, the previous natural life. yeah the natural state, state yeah, where the, where man is in charge and we have these great normal, structures yeah. yeah that's what I think that they say normal they want it I, to be normal normal uh, well I think they definitely use natural state and since since she's a person of the past and not having those. You know things that she grew up with. You know, not having you know modern modernization in her life. She wants to bring it back, so she's instantly uh, moved into that military state, or, or not really the military, but more more so that that one person who who wants to bring back the past. And then I guess we can just say that that uh, the other survivor, the other one that came out of stasis, he goes to a very extreme place, and so she decides that that's not where she wants to right. go. And Agito comes to the rescue. Uh, but he has to borrow power from the forest, and so and his white, any, his hair yeah. Anytime white. you borrow power from the forest, you get white hair to, to show that, and then you slowly turn into a tree again. So, well, if you overuse the power, you turn right. Into you a tree. can you can like concentrate on your center or whatever your seed, and like get it to recede and go back to a human or whatever. But if you use it too much, and you're at risk, blah blah. blah. Right. So I guess there is kind of a weird. Um, uh, a cliche bit in there, but it's you know it's not something that you can explain, and people are like, oh, that's totally cliche, but it does feel cliche, you know? What yeah, I, mean? I guess, yeah. I don't know. Anyway, it is enjoyable overall. It's not very long. It's it's an hour and a half, I think. Yeah, um, and it was fun. I it liked was it. Highly paid. You know, uh, the voice acting is great. The yep. animation is great. Um, yeah, I mean, there's there's really nothing, I guess, that sets it apart as a you must watch. But you will solidly enjoy it if you like this sort of thing. Right, and it's on Netflix and it's free and you have no reason not to watch it. Yeah, yeah. We were also trying to think maybe we'll do the uh, the Final Fantasy one. Uh, what's it called? I forget. But it's uh, Spirits Within? Yeah, it's very, it's very like Earth, Gaia, Mother thing. Right. It's, it's actually kind of similar in when you think about it. or you know. But I think this is a better film, actually. Yeah. Uh, I love that film because of the... the uh, the ground that it forged in animation, but when we watch it now, it's really bad. Like, the yeah. lip syncing is horrible. Yeah. Anyway, um, I think that this film is a much more pleasant uh, feel to it. And I guess it feels a little Disney. It's not definitely weird enough to be, like, Gib- Ghibli or something. Right, Ghibli, right. But um, it's a little Disney in, in that it's, like, pretty family-friendly. There's not a lot of violence or anything like that. Uh, and it's, it's, yeah, it's enjoyable. I agree. What else needs to be said? Um, Music. There's one song that I really dig. Right, and it plays in the beginning and the end, so yeah, you yeah. hear it twice. And it is a really cool song, and if I had it on an iPod or something, I would totally listen to it. And otherwise, the music is pleasant, yeah. so it's well done. Um, yeah, just all around, if you're if you're looking for something, um, this might be something that a girlfriend or something, somebody that's not totally into anime might also enjoy. Yeah. Because it's not, you know, heavy-handed. It doesn't have a lot of weird, quirky moments or yeah, anything it's not, like that. Yeah, it's not... It's not really anime. I mean, it's, it's just kind well, of... Well, it's anime, but it's... Yeah, it's not... Animated it's not, story. It's not that kind of deep anime that people just fall in love with. Yeah. It's, it's or, fun. Or hate. Yeah, or hate. Very true. Yeah, anyway. Uh, so that's it. Uh, subscribe to YouTube channel and um, uh, watch all our playlists. Uh, Game Lab is a lot of fun. Uh, Fover and uh, Moonflower, you. awesome. Thank you. And please leave comments. We love comments. And you can help support us in our new place by buying all of our wares at spiderwolf.com. That's right. T-shirts. Yay. And uh, we've got card games and short stories and art prints. Uh, a lot more to come. Oh. Always going to. Yeah. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Yes. Good job. Nice solid land. I killed them. Yeah. We're getting used to the new... The new digs. The, the new digs. The new camera. Yeah. All the setup and going off. Yeah. Next time on Dual Review, it's Silent Hill, the movie. Not gonna remember any of their names. Do, 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 do. Tula. They were working on how well, to. Well, I don't want to say that just yet because it, it, it might not be Earth. There's, really, but. Well, there, there's a there's a feel of like supernaturalness to it at first, and that's kind of. Oh, cool. you don't want to spoil it? Yeah, and well, then, we kind of have to to talk about it. Well, though. yeah, but you don't have to until the very end. No, we're talking about. It. We can't talk about it without that. Uh,
so what happens? All right, fine. So fine. what ha so what happens is, um, <laughs> let's, this... let's start over. This is ridiculous. Welcome to Friday Thursday Thursday. Welcome to Thursday the thirtieth of August. We are doing spurious fish. fish spurious fish. <laughs> Origin spirits of the past. Correct. Okay. <laughs> Origin spirits of the past. Wow, that, that makes so much more sense, that thanks. Origin, spirits of the past. <laughs> Going in different directions. Origin, spirits of the past. <laughs> it's like a butt cheek holding. <laughs> That's pretty white, but... Yeah, it is. Okay. That's the kind of woman I like. Wait, what? That's right not, out of Funny Town. That's not a blooper. Oh, yes it is. <laughs> Damn it. I have the power. I, I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. I could sing most of the song. I'm not going to, but he I could. He's a Seattleite. Does everybody know that? She makes a lot. I did not know that. Right. It is a very solid anime. It, it's one of those that we weren't quite sure if we'd both seen it, but right. Uh, so I guess it wasn't strong enough that it really lasted. You know, in our impression of it. I'm sorry. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I know. Fuck up saying. That's because derailed. Yeah, Does someone's back me. There's a bee nest. Hey, hey, stop it! Stop it! Uh, uh. Ow! <laughs> Damn it! Please don't slap me. Where'd it go? <laughs> <laughs> I like put like a little dot there. I do that with my dog and it drives him insane. You know he's afraid of flies. Catch him on the back of the ear. And like, but you'd freak out if I touch you on the back of the ear too. Yes, I would. All right, let's go. <laughs> I say that like five times a day. I'm the one that, yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like it's my fault you were talking. <laughs> let's go. See, that was your time. That was your fault. Well, let's go.